I've been wanting to do something for my cyberpunk audience since my next cyberpunk lore video is still in the works and taking a while. It is coming, and I believe I may have enough time between Christmas and New Year's to finish it, so I ask for just a little patience. As for today, we'll be doing some trailer analysis. This is the latest teaser for the Phantom Liberty expansion for Cyberpunk 2077, released at the Game Awards earlier this month. Keep in mind, I have not read any leaks regarding the expansion, so everything I know about it comes from the two teasers we've gotten. Let's jump right in. We start with a crashed aerial transport bearing markings of the new United States, clearly an official vehicle. Combined with the previous teaser having V swear allegiance to the new United States, it definitely seems to me like the government has lost something or someone in the combat zone, and they need someone to go in and retrieve them, or it. Or at least that's how it plays into the theories I ascribe to. There has to be some reason the new United States government would have agents in the Night City combat zone. Basically, this could be Escape from New York, and V is Snake Pliskin. Or not. Some of the stuff in the trailer hints at this being a more internal issue for the federal government, however. Johnny has a voiceover asking how many times you're willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone. Stop taking bullets for empty promises. This is probably a reference to Johnny's own past. He was a soldier, and he deserted after he became disillusioned with the government and corporations involved in the various wars in South America the United States conducted in the 1990s and early 2000s in this timeline. Next scene, we have a very well-built looking operator with a black cyber arm sitting in a bar, and no, this isn't Morgan Blackhand. It's the wrong arm, for starters. It kind of got me thinking, though. There are probably imitators out there that outfit themselves with black cyber arms to mimic Blackhand. It could be something like that, or maybe some service of the NUSA has adopted the look as standard, seeing as he worked for them. That seems less likely. The next statement from Johnny seems to be describing the combat zone in general. Politicians, military netrunners, and intelligence operatives. That seems like an odd crowd for the combat zone, actually, which is mostly known for being completely anarchic gang territory. He's describing something he calls Dogtown, which I initially thought was just a derogatory phrase, but another character uses the exact same term later. So it seems like this Dogtown is some haven for shady government operations, I suppose located in the combat zone. The thing that stands out about this new area to me is what looks like a crashed cargo ship, the flying kind you see occasionally in the sky right in the middle of the area. It looks like it's been there a while, so I'd really like to get that story, and I hope they made some interesting use of the space inside the ship as well. So after Johnny asks if we have a plan, a female voice says they don't have a plan, but they do have a man to turn to. By the way, I've seen people mistake this woman for Rosalind Myers, president of the new United States. Barring a redesign, I don't think she is. Myers already has a model in-game which can be seen during a press conference that appears during the Devil Ending. That brings us to the man himself, Solomon Reed, portrayed by Idris Elba. Now, personally, I'm always a bit leery about celebrity stunt casting in video games. You know, stuff like Peter Dinklage being the original voice of the ghost in Destiny, it was so bad they eventually had a voice actor re-record all his lines and replaced him. A film actor's talents sometimes don't transfer well to voice acting, and it seems like they were cast more for publicity than for their performance. Some people have the same complaint about Keanu as Johnny. Personally, I thought he did fine, and I like Idris Elba's work, so I'm not against his involvement here. I guess I was just looking for an excuse to vent that thought. Anyway, Solomon Reed is an FIA agent. I don't know what that is. Possibly it stands for Federal Investigation Agency? Some sort of replacement for the FBI? 
The framing seems to be that he's a federal operative of some kind, which I think is more the point. When asked what they do now, he says they should burn Dogtown to the ground because it's them or us and peace comes at a price. In and of itself, that doesn't reveal much except that whatever group of politicians and intelligence agencies is operating in Dogtown will be the antagonistic force. That's interesting because it suggests this might be an internal struggle between elements of the new United States government. Solomon and the female contact we've seen are feds, and Dogtown is implied to be some sort of hangout for those types. Back to the imagery in the trailer though, I am extremely interested in this circuitry face mask being put on us. I don't know if it's some sort of VR interface or maybe some high-tech disguise where V has to impersonate someone. I'm hoping it leads to some sort of novel gameplay experience. Then there's a driving segment showing us that this area is apparently huge if it's big enough to have this sort of area. There are some pretty large defunct skyscrapers in the background, including what looks like a malfunctioning advertisement. Some sort of driving combat may be in the works, given that we're being shot at, though it's hard to be definitive about whether it's more than the scripted segments already in the game. There is a very blink-and-you'll-miss-it snippet of MaxTac deploying, so hopefully there's some things to do with them. I have wanted to see more of MaxTac in a storyline, though I'm not sure there'll be room for them in the main storyline of the expansion. There are some scenes of firing guns and one enemy using an exoskeleton to fire something massive. There's an explosion and what looks like that female contact from before getting knocked to the ground, and we close with a lingering shot on Idris Elba's face. Alright, let's round things up. What did we learn about Phantom Liberty in this teaser? Some of it was already apparent in the first teaser, such as that we would be going into what seems to be the combat zone in the service of the new United States government. Now it seems like something will go wrong and we'll have to specifically work with this agent, Solomon Reed. The antagonistic faction may be some political conspiracy centered around this place called Dogtown. The new area looks a lot bigger than I was personally expecting, with big ruined skyscrapers and also probably including the closed stadium visible in the main game. Okay, I think that's it. I'll hopefully get more cyberpunk lore ready for you before too long. Otherwise, please check out any other videos on my channel that catch your interest. Happy Holidays. See